Should you take a coding bootcamp in 2020? Hi, my name is David. I just finished my first month of coding bootcamp with UC Berkeley Extensions through Trilogy. And here's some of the projects I've done so far. Let me start by giving you a little bit of background about the program. It's 12 weeks long, full stack, web development course. It's from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Monday to Friday with a half hour lunch break. And there's an additional 45 minute TA office hours before class and a 45 minutes review session after class as well. You get two hours of private tutoring one-on-one in addition to that as well. There's two TAs two instructors, and it's all completely online because of COVID, though they didn't have any in-person classes. About the class, there's, it started off with around 40 people, students in the class, and there was like a one week trial period that you can get your money refunded. And after the trial period, about 30 people were left. I wanna say around a third of the people are still in college or just graduated from college and haven't started working yet. And they're doing the bootcamp to continue school two-thirds are changing careers to become a developer. Around a third women and two-thirds men in the class, and mostly everyone has been affected by COVID-19. And it's one of the main reasons why they're taking the bootcamp in the first place. So far, after one month in, we've learned HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript, jQuery, APIs, AJAX functions. And we did one group project that consists of a team of three people. So far with my experience, after one month in, I highly recommend doing a Cody bootcamp. The group projects were great. It wasn't like group projects that I've done before. Because in college, whenever I would do group project, here's how it would work. You get assigned a project with random team members, and then you meet, you divide up the work as evenly as possible, and then you split off, and then you meet up again at the end to combine everything and make a presentation. There isn't very much teamwork, no synergy in any of the group projects. In the group projects here, my team members really cared about the project and were really proud of what they did. So it was an enjoyable experience and it was interesting to work with other people in a coding environment. Another thing I wanted to point out was that being coming a developer is so much more than just learning how to code. You have to really be able to work on teams because I've watched my other students. I've analyzed almost all of them to see what they're doing whenever they ask a question, all their presentations. And yeah, it seems like some people can code better than other people, but also some people are better team players than other people. Some people can communicate their code than other people. Some people can ask questions more thoroughly to communicate their point than other people. So there's so much more to do with being a good developer than just coding. And that is something I didn't really realize up until taking this coding bootcamp. And this bootcamp also helped me appreciate programming so much more because before I would learn to code just so I can get a job, just so I can code, but I didn't really appreciate the art of coding. Now I find it interesting. And whenever there's a problem in class, there's a homework assignment, and well, we would get stuck with my other classmates. I would always find it interesting to see how one person approached a problem compared to someone else because there's multiple ways you can solve a problem. And there's trade-offs between each one of them. And it's interesting to analyze and see how this person thought to come up with that solution to each problem. So this bootcamp really helped me appreciate learning coding. The last way, the instructors. I think instructors has a significant impact on how you learn the code. Because when I was self-teaching myself this before watching YouTube videos, I spent half the time just trying to find a good instructor to teach the concepts. Programming can be such a dry course if you do not have a good teacher. And I ask a lot of questions in my class. I ask questions almost every day because I really think about whenever I learn the new concepts, the implications of the idea, any effects of it, why, what's the point of it, if there's an solu easier solution to this. And I'm always thinking about the information for what I learned. For example, in version control, 
the, the best practice is to git push, git commit, and upload your save file to git, GitHub so you have a, a version of Freed's file. And I never really understood why. And I asked my instructor, what's the point of pushing, committing every time? It's only more work for yourself. And then the instructor really broke it down for me. Oh yeah, it's good so you can go to previous versions and if there's a bug, you can work on it. And it also helps when you work on Teams as well. Because I, I never really got a chance to ask questions and the instructors really know what they're talking about whenever I ask these questions to my class. So that's what I really appreciate. I appreciate the instructors the coding, the art of coding itself, and more than just coding to become a developer, but the soft skills involved with it. I think it's possible that you can learn coding by myself. I could have learned everything by myself, but I don't think I would have learned it as quickly as I could have if I didn't take a bootcamp. I think to give it a perspective, one week of what we learned in bootcamp is what it took me one month self-studying it myself and I didn't even learn it that thoroughly by myself. So I really ex recommend a bootcamp for anyone who's interested in one. I would say for most people the social aspect, being able to ask questions, the environment, the team environment will really help you become a good coder. I don't really see any cases that you should not. I would say maybe perhaps get a private tutor to do it instead of a coding bootcamp but for the most people I would recommend it. And a lot of people would say, why spend so much money on a bootcamp? And I feel like there's people who say that you shouldn't do it. I think that because they're not willing to invest that much money into themselves, they don't believe that their investments in themselves will pay off in the future. They're gonna say that other people shouldn't do it. And that's why I think a lot of people say, don't take a bootcamp. Yeah, you can do it. Yes, you can do it yourself, but you won't be able to learn as quickly and time is so valuable. So that's my one month review of a coding bootcamp at UC Berkeley Extensions to Trilogy. Let me know if you have any questions, what you want me to elaborate on, and I'll be happy to answer.